What's going on guys? My name is Rob. Welcome into the channel. In this one we're going to go over the EOS Lynx wallet, take a look at what's inside. So let's head on over to my Android phone and we'll see what's inside the EOS Lynx wallet and I am also going to set up an account using the EOS Lynx wallet. Alright, let's head on over to my phone. Alright, here we are on my Android device and in order to get into the EOS Lynx wallet I need to click the EOS Lynx icon. And you can see here there are two options, create new account and import account. So first I'm going to click create new account button. And it gives you the EOS constitution that you can look over. Just scroll down through it if you want to look over it. And you do have to click accept at the bottom to move on. And once you click accept, it's the point where you will input a 12 character EOS account name twelve character in is an available name because it did not pop up and tell us otherwise but if we do change this over to twelve characters with an S at the end instead of an N you can see account name taken so it does let you know if the account name you're putting in is available or not I will fully walk through setting up an account this way, but first let's go back and check out the import account feature on the EOS Lynx wallet. To import an EOS account using the EOS Lynx wallet, simply click the import account button and again the EOS constitution will pop up again. You can scroll through it and read it and click accept at the bottom. And once you click accept, here is the point you would paste your private key to import your EOS account. Simple, easy to use. Just type in your EOS account's private key, click next, and that'll start the process of importing that EOS account into the EOS Lynx wallet. Just like any other EOS wallet, import your private key, your EOS account is imported into that wallet. So now let's go back and go through how to fully create a new EOS account on the EOS Lynx wallet. In order to do this, click create new account. Again, read the constitution, scroll through it if you want, click accept at the bottom. And here I'm going to import my 12 character EOS name. So I'm going with EOS Pay Mobile. That account is taken. Let's try Mobile EOS Pay. All right, that is available. So I'm going to hit the pay button, click buy, and then this pops up with my Google account and I need to import input my password in order to confirm the price of 99 cents is okay with me and I want to buy. Payment successful. It is creating the account now. Alright, the EOS account has been created and at this point it is giving me my private key. I need to keep this private, write this down, keep it in a safe spot because in order to recover this EOS account I just created, I will need this private key. So this is the point you get the private key and write it down. In this next page you need to paste in your private key to confirm that you have written it down. So paste it in and click next. And now we are in the EOS Lynx wallet and you can see mobile EOS pay my EOS account I just created is attached to the account and it has 0 0.01 EOS in it transferred from Lynx. And in the bottom right hand corner you can see a red plus where if you click on it there is an option to create a new account or import another account if you want to add more accounts into this EOS Lynx wallet. So now let's jump on over to EOS Flare and take a look at the resources given to this account. Here we are on EOS Flare for the EOS account I just created on the EOS Lynx app, Mobile EOS Pay. And at the time of this recording, it did cost 99 cents. And for that 99 cents, I received 3.89 kilobytes worth of RAM, 0.1 EOS staked in CPU, and 0.1 EOS staked in bandwidth. So if the price of EOS goes up, the price to create the account 
might increase from that 99 cent standpoint. But at the time of this recording, it was 99 cents. And that did create this account for me with 3.9 kilobytes worth of memory, 0.1 EOS staked in CPU, and 0.1 EOS staked in bandwidth. So this is another alternative for people to create EOS accounts. And it was super simple and easy. Um, you pay for it just like you pay for any paid app in the Android store or in the Apple store. So another easy alternative to creating an EOS account for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this walkthrough, but that's going to do it for me. If you found this helpful, please make sure to drop a like on the video. It goes a long way to helping out the channel. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell if you want to be notified when we go live. But that's going to do it for me for this one, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.